Disclaimer, all clips used in this video are for educational purposes only. I do not own any of the clips, and all clips will be linked in the description down below. Hey guys, Picture by Picture here, and today we're going to be doing another Brick Mania haul. Uh, we just got a few things, so we need to get this packaging open. Oh, there it is. Boy, that took its time. Um, just chuck it in the bin there. Alright, now that I've taken out the trash, I'd like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to the channel. Doing so, you get more availability to content like this, whether it be my 3D printed weapons, mocks, tutorials, or more haul videos like this. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Alright, now let's open this up. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, first up, start the armor. I got five Brick Arms helmets with five Brick Arms plate carriers. Alright, we'll start with the freebies, because I actually got pretty decent freebies. I've got an M1919 machine gun in an olive colour. As much as they probably didn't make any olive colour of these machine guns, it's still a lot better than a pink one. If you've watched my first one, you don't understand. Um, and then I got a MG34 with the fancy drum magazines that I don't know how to pronounce. It's got like 50 something letters and it's a long ass full on word that looks like a smashed full on keyboard to make. Um, it's, it's a real word somehow. Now the next weapon is the M16 A4. The only reason they didn't get more of these, I got two, is because they have both ACOG and a 40mm grenade launcher. Um, I think we all know, if you've played enough Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, that a 40mm grenade launcher is a very deadly weapon. And I think giving every grunt in the army one would be uh, just devastating. Ooh. Anyway, we'll give a bit of history on the M16 A4. It both fires in semi-auto and burst fire. It fires the 5.56 by 45 NATO round. It was produced by the Colt Company and was adopted by the United States Marine Corps in 1998, while the AI platform of rifles was developed by Eugene Stoner in the 1950s. Next weapon is the ultimate bad guy rifle, the AKM. Um, if you're wondering what an AKM is, the AKM stands for Automatic Kalashnikov Modernized, and then the AK-47 stands for Automatic Kalashnikov Model 47. I think that's the year it was made. Um, the only differences, the real differences between the AKM and AK-47 is that the AKM has a stamped steel receiver while the AK-47 has a milled uh, steel receiver. Uh, there's also other stuff with the um, gas piston and other things like that, uh, dust cover, but we won't get into all that. Uh, what I will get into is that I think it is automatic and semi-automatic. It shoots a 7.6.2 by 39 cartridge. Um, it is. It was originally developed, or the AK-47, which is pretty similar to the AKM, by Nikhail Kalashnikov in 1940. All right, let's get on to the next weapon. All right, now on to my all-time favorite rifle of all time, is the Steyr Og. Well, fun fact, actually, we'll do this first. The Australians and the Austrians both use the Steyr, which, um, a bit funny, but we all know which one's better. It's obviously the Australians. Uh, next weapon, obviously, Styrog, like I said. It was made by Karl Wagner, I think that's how you pronounce his name, in the 1960s. Uh, same rifle, this rifle shoots the 5.56 by 49 cartridge NATO round. Um, it is also a AUG, or AUG, stands for Universal Army Rifle. It is also a bullpup rifle, if you don't know what a bullpup is, is where the fire assembly is behind the handguard or the trigger of the rifle. So instead of a um, pretty much normal rifle, like an M16 or an M4, G36, something like that, magazine goes in front of the trigger, magazine goes behind the trigger on a bolt up, which gives it a longer barrel length of a shorter frame or shorter thing, which I like bolt ups quite a bit. They're my personal favorite rifle, but a lot of people hate them for some reason. They get a bit more hate than they should do. But anyway, let's get on to the next weapon. All right, now we're on to the A12, a pretty cool shotgun. If you guys have ever watched FPS Rush, you definitely know about this gun. Um, FPS Rush, if you don't know who he is, is a big, well, was a pretty big gun channel on YouTube. He stopped making like six something years ago. But 
is the most popular video on YouTube is dual wheeling two AA-12 automatic shotguns. So the AA-12 is automatic, completely automatic. I don't think it has a selector switch, it's just automatic, but it shoots in a decent reciprocating rate that you can just reliably pull the trigger once you get a single um, shot. But it just shoots normal 12 gauge, since it's a shotgun, it's pretty universal with all these other rounds. Um, probably the only thing that probably wouldn't really work is like um, non-lethal rounds, which don't have enough gas to reciprocate the bolt. But um, I don't think you're going to use non-lethal rounds if you have an AA-12. You're going to be going full on mad killing spree with that puppy. Alright, on to the next weapon. Next weapon is the FN M249 Saw. Like in the name, it is designed and made by FN. It shoots the 5.56 by 45 cartridge. It is full auto and uh, uses belts or magazines, which is interesting. Um, I don't think the magazine works too well. I don't think it was very reliable, but the belts are all right. Uh, that's probably why you see them using belts more often. This one has that Canadian sight, I think it is. I don't know its name, but I think it's Canadian. And I just got that one because it's pretty cool. Next weapon. Now this is my first prototype, so um, Dr. Xbox Live has got some competition now. But I got two of these. These are the Stoner 60 Freeze. Um, what's cool about these things is they're also designed by Eugene Stoner. Stoner Fulham. What a, what a last name, dude. Some cool last names out there, and Stoner would be one of them. Um, but it was an interesting rifle, because um, it was a kind of a one-size-fits-all rifle, which is what the Army's been wanting for ages, but they just kind of gave up on it for some reason. But it was a pretty cool. If you've watched the um, Forgotten Arms video on it, I suggest you watch that because it shows the recoil of this thing. It is non-existent pretty much, which is surprising for basically a light machine gun roll of a rifle. It wouldn't move off target. You could stand up and hit shots very accurately. It was quite impressive. It also shoots the 5.5, uh, 5.56 by 45 cartridge NATO. Um, just to list some of the um, configurations of this rifle, there was a Bren gun configuration, so the magazine was loaded in the top. It had your carbine configuration, all sorts of stuff like machine gun. It was a really funky rifle for its time, and I'm surprised it didn't get adopted, but it didn't, so hey. Well, I guess uh, that's a bit sad. Poor Eugene Stoner. Anyway, I think that is all the weapons except the two freebies, but I'm not going to really review them because they're freebies I wasn't intending. Didn't do any research on them, but that seems like it, guys. Uh, so I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Um, subscribe here, there's a button there, hopefully. There's another video up here, this will be a playlist to where this video will be. And then up here will be the latest video. Anyway, just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.